The most surprising thing I've discovered about Ethel Waters is um, how she changed the face of the business for African Americans. And one of the most shocking things is how she changed the face of the civil rights movement. And she really didn't have anything to do with it. She lived during a great deal of some huge periods of the civil rights, the beginning, the onset of it. But she really wasn't involved in it. But she was really instrumental in the way people looked at African American artists and how they dealt with the African American artists. Learning about Ethel Waters' life uh, has been a real adventure for me. I knew about Ethel Waters mostly as the person who sang with the Billy Graham Crusade and seeing her on TV singing His Eye is on the Sparrow. A lot of people know they're born for greatness and they push and drive their life towards that. Um, but she didn't know that. She didn't believe that. But that's what she did. And it took her a long time to realize that that's what she was that's why God made her, to, to do these wonderful things. So I, that always is really interesting to me, that discovery for her, because she was, she always wanted to be a white woman's maid, but look where she ended up being. So that's, it. that's, that's one of the most shocking things I found about Ethel Ward. I think Donna Bradby is a wonderful director. She is very insightful. She is a, a, a director who loves simplicity. And I think sometimes in the theater, we're never going to match Hollywood. We can't show everything on stage, but whatever you can do to suggest to the minds of the people that this is a real place and the audience believes that and they are there for the duration of that play. Um, first of all, I'm working with two artists I love, Miss Cassandra. I'm a big Cassandra Williams fan, huge fan. I'm going to stalk her during the run. Uh, and Reverend Pass, I love working with Reverend Pass. We've done a lot of projects together. And um, I never know with Triad Stage who my designers are, which is exciting. Teaching in the Collegiate Theater, every once in a while you get a guest designer. Um, so the combination of those personalities has been the most exciting for me. Um, the most challenging piece for me about directing Ethel Waters is uh, the fact that it was a one-woman show and driving one person with a storyline because she's playing everything. So there are scenes where she's having an argument with her husband, Eddie, and she drives herself to tears, where really she's arguing with herself, even though she's playing two characters. So that was the most difficult for me, um, is uh, dealing with a one-woman show. At the Waters has been a wonderful experience. I've loved working with uh, Donna Bradby, the director, and uh, George Pass, the music director. I've had a lot of fun with it, learning all of those lines because, of course, it's a one-woman show. Ethel's the only one on stage. There's never a break. She drives the story from beginning to end. I want them to have go on this trip of memory with her. Because it's a narrative piece, it's, it's driven by memory. So I want them to go on this memory trip with her. I want them to sing with her, but don't out-sing her. But I want them to sing with her and just for the, them to have just this wonderful experience of a flashback. So the opposite, I want the older audiences to flashback and have some memories of where they were during that time when they first heard that song. And I want um, younger audiences to say, wow, I didn't know that about her. I didn't know this. Or I thought Lena Horne introduced Stormy Weather. It wasn't her. It was Ethel Waters. So discovery and memory for the older ones and discovery for the young ones. So I would like for people to take away that feeling of awe, but also an idea that here was a woman who stood up for herself as well as for others who would come along later in life. I think for younger children, again, of knowing that this woman existed, because I've talked to some young people about coming to see the play and they say, who is Ethel Waters? And I want to say, what do you mean, who is Ethel Waters? But Again, history books don't always show some of the people who have been instrumental in, um, or even as we would sometimes say, whose shoulders on whom we stand. Um, she did so much for the entertainment world, but for all of the young people that they will know that there was someone who was such a great woman before their own time period of, of music. But I think I would love for them to take away just that feeling of awe and inspiration at the life of a woman who met her challenges and certainly through her faith and just her sheer talent rose above all of that.
Menino.